My name is DG Laurentino, and I currently live in Sussex County, New Jersey. I supported Donald Trump in 2016, unfortunately, and I sorely and horribly regret it. Some of the promises he made, um, I've always been very strong on a strong border policy. He fooled me very easily. The very first time that I started noticing that he wasn't the guy that he said he was, was during the time when he shut down the government because of the border wall. The fact that this is a 73-year-old man who is having national tantrums, acting like a five-year-old child who didn't get the candy they wanted at the grocery store. That's what kind of made me look at him at first and say, what, what is this guy doing? Why is he acting like this? I think about his handling of the coronavirus pandemic and the racial divide that our country, that our country is currently going through. I think it was a horrible response on both. First of all, he was warned about the dangers and the risks of the pandemic. And, you know, he called it a hoax. He said, oh, you know, it's going to disappear like a miracle. As a matter of fact, the complete opposite happened. You know, like we have all of these health experts telling us about masks and about social distancing and things like that. But he's completely going against it, you know, to fulfill his own agenda. With the whole issue with the Confederate flag, okay, we're talking about a rich boy born and raised in Queens, New York, that somehow, someway convinced himself that he's a small town farm boy from Georgia. The riots are a result of his failure to control the racial divide in this country. The Republican Party cannot come back until Trump and his enablers are gone. And the only way for him to lose the election is for Joe Biden to win it. It hurts me to know that this year, in order to save the Republican Party or help save the Republican Party, we need to elect a Democrat. To people who are currently on the fence about the 2020 election, don't make the same mistake I made twice. Racial tensions, disease, unemployment. Every negative thing that we could possibly have in this country is currently here right now. If he is granted a second term, this is just the beginning of doom.